Hi everyone, I present a novel approach to identifying the African manatee distribution using passive acoustics. The African manatee is one of the three manatee species in the world. It is a least studied Cyrenian and least studied large mammal in Africa. African manatees can be up to 3.5 meters long and weigh up to 400 kilograms. They live a minimum of 39 years, inhabit fresh and marine systems, exhibit a low genetic diversity, and are omnivores. The African manatee is distributed in 21 African countries. Poaching, incidental catch in fishing nets, and habitat degradation are the major threats to the species. The limited available data on African manatees is partly due to the turbid and murky waters they inhabit and to their elusiveness and semi sociality, inhibiting traditional visual detection methods. In such circumstances, passive acoustics could be useful to mitigating data paucity. Indeed, it is known that other Cyrenians produce vocalizations previously showed to be important for their underwater communications and that they have been previously monitored using passive acoustics. Our research questions were, do African manatees vocalize in the wild? And if yes, can their presence be acoustically detected? Four three-day deployments at two sides of Lake Osa using the LS1 and the Ozone's mini hydrophones. Raw recordings were copied into computers, then trained auditors extracted possible manatee vocalizations, and three manatee experts verified that the extracted vocalizations were produced by manatees. We recorded the African manatee vocalizations for the first time ever in the wild and over 3,000 triple confirmed vocalizations. Manatee detection rates was of 100% at each of the study sites. Analysis of manatee vocalization hours in one of the study sites reveals that 72% of vocalizations were recorded between 6 p.m. and 5 a.m meaning manatees mostly occurred out of the daylight hours. This occurrence pattern is likely to be a response to poaching. In conclusion, it is now known that manatees vocal the African manatee vocalize in the wild and that passive acoustics are indeed a, suit a suitable methodology to monitor the African manatee especially in degraded habitats like Lake Osa, where giant Sarvinia has covered more than 25% of the lake's surface. Extensions and your questions are welcome.